Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to use group by and pivot by function with examples. We will also show you the different use case of the pivot by and group by functions. So let's start without delay. First, let me show you the data. Here we have this data wherein we have segment, country, product, discount band, unit sold, manufacturing price, sales price, gross sale, discount. Then we have sales, COGS, which is cost of goods sales, profit and date. We will use this data to use the pivot by and group by function. We will show you how we can summarize data in this way. It is looking like the pivot, but this is by the group by function. We have created the filter also. And then we will show you how we can use the pivot by function like this and how to handle the dates like year, month and we can show the profit. Then how we can create the years from the date in the columns also and we will show you how we can use the percentage of like here we have the product and then we are showing the sum and the percentage of the contribution and we are also showing here the percentage of a particular year by sales here. Alright friends so now let's start without delay I'm going to copy this data on new worksheet press ctrl n paste that data here. All right, you can convert this range into a table or you can use it as it is also. So let's add a new sheet. This is our data sheet. So first I will show you how we can use the group by function. So friends group by is the new function available in office 365. So let me show you the group by function syntax first. Let's use here group by. We have three mandatory argument that is row field value and function. We have few other optional argument also like field headers, total depth, sort order, filter array. We will show you everything here. So let's use the row field first. Row field means the field using that we want to use the group by. So let's say here I am saying I want to use the country. So I am just selecting this country data comma the value. So I want country wise sales so I am selecting here this sales column comma the function I want sum of sale percentage of sales average median count whatever we want so here we will take sum of sales and just close the bracket and hit the enter we are getting here unique list of countries then this is sum of sales you can see and in the last we are getting the total also all right so in single formula, we get all summarized information. Let me go to the view and remove the grid lines from here. And then I'll show you the some other arguments also. So let's say we are saying, do you want to show the field headers? You can say yes and show and just hit the enter. So it is showing the name of the country. If we take here V1 and here also we take the J1 and just hit the enter. And then we enable the header like yes and so then we are seeing here country. Okay. So rather than doing this, you can just skip this parameter and you can put the header manually also. So let's say no fill and here I'm putting country and this is sales. Okay. And then here you can format this. All right. So that is how you can use the group by function. I will show you few other things also for the group by like field header already I have explained. Let's skip this. Then we have the total depth. We can show no total if we don't want to see the total here. So that total is removed now. We have only unique country list and the sales. Okay. And if you want to show the total, you can just select the grand total. Then it will show that grand total. If we have the multiple rows here, then we can use the subtotal also. We will show you in the next example or you can show the grand total at top also. Earlier it was at bottom. Now grand total is on top. All right, friend. So that is how you can use the total. So I'm skipping this by default. It will show the total at bottom. Now the sort order. So we want to sort by the country or by the sales. We have two columns only country and sales. Let's say I want to sort by the country. So I will put here one. I'm getting the country name in ascending order. Okay. The Canada, France, Germany, Mexico and USA. If I put here minus one, 
I will get the country in the descending order. Here you can see USA is first than Mexico. If you want to sort it by sales, we can put here two. Then data is sorted by sales here you can see. And if I put here minus two, then it will be descending by column number two. All right, so that is how you can sort the data in group by function. Now let's see the next one that is filter array. If you want to filter your data, you don't need to use the separate filter function. You can use the filter directly here. First, you need to provide the filter array. Let's go to the data and I want to select the discount when let's select this one is equal to high. It will return the data wherein discount when is high. Here you can see it is showing the data wherein discount when is high. If I put here low, then it is returning the data wherein discount is low. All right, friends. So that is how you can use group by function. Now I will show you some other use case of the group by also. You can use the multiple rows. We here we have taken only countries. You can add more like we use in pivot table. So in place of this selection, what we can do, let's say we want to take the country and product column. So we have here country and product. Okay. So I will use here B1 to C. Then I'm getting here country. Then I'm getting here product. And this is total sales. Okay. So now I can put here product and I can put here sales. All right. Now, if you want to show the subtotal of country, so what you can do here after some, we can show the total depth. So let's put here grand total and subtotal let's select this and just hit the enter so we are getting the grand total on the top then we are getting the total of the canada here we are getting the total of the france okay let me highlight these and then here we are getting the total of germany you can see okay so that is how it can show the total and it is showing the data only for the discount is low or i can say none wherein no discount then it is showing the data wherein discount is none okay let me show you in data also the discount we have high low medium and none all right friends now i will quickly show you how you can connect with a drop down so let's say i am creating a drop down here for segment okay so first what I'm doing here, let's say here I'm getting the list of segments. So I'm using the unique function unique and let's select the segment here. We have this segment, select this range and hit the enter. So we are getting the unit segment. Let's select this cell, press Alt D L and select here list and just select this cell O and put has click on OK. So we are getting here the list of segment. Now you can select any segment from here. So what I'm doing here, I'm just putting the filter array as the segment and I'm selecting here this segment equal to come into the group by and select this one. It is connected with this cell. If I change this segment, then you can see the sales is getting changed. All right, friends. So that is how we can use the group by function. We can convert this into a table also then we can use directly the field name in place of this range or we can create the dynamic names also using the offset function for segment country and other one and if you want to quickly create the dynamic names you can use the pk's utility tool version 3.0 it is absolutely free and you can download it from my website you just need to select your range then go to the PKG utility tool 3.0 channel and just click on create dynamic names. It has created all name process completed. Click on OK. Now, if I go to the formula name manager, then here you can see all the names and it is dynamic name using the offset function. And here you can see all the fields name are available. So for all fields, it has created click on cogs and I click here. Then you can see the range is selected. If you add the new data here at bottom of this data, automatically that new data will be considered because these are dynamic names. I will show you how you can use this here. Now I will show you how we can use this group by 
and row field you can take here let's say segment comma the value you can take profit function sum just hit the enter it is easy and dynamic way to create this you don't need to select the range okay now let's say if you want to add the multiple columns if you are using the names then you can use the h stack function here h stack and you can put here let's say segment then you can put here product and just close the bracket hit the enter so we have the first segment then we have the product and this is sum of profit if you want to put the product first then put here product first then put the segment and hit the enter so first we have the product then we have the segment all right so you can put the header here this is product and this is segment and this is profit that is how you can use the h stack with group by now quickly i'll show you the pivot by function also pivot by function is also the same function the only difference is if you want to put the data in columns also we are putting here in rows only but if you want to put in columns then we can use the pivot by function so let me show you just use here pivot by and the first argument is row field so let's say i'm putting here country comma the column field let's say i'm putting here product comma the value i'm putting here sales this sales amount the function i'm putting here sum just close the bracket hit the enter so in the column i have the product then here in the rows i have the country and here we have sales amount the sum of sales amount in this case you can use the pivot by function the other arguments are the same you can use the field header you can say yes so then it will show the field header also but because we are taking from the next row so it is not showing the correct header you can put the manual header also comma the next one is the row total if you want to show the grand total or you don't want to show you can say no total then it will not show the row total here you can see the row total is not available next row sort order to sort the row and similarly the column comma the column sort order also and in the last we have the filter array so let's say i want to filter by segment equal to whatever the available in this cell the segment value we will take it it is showing the value error so let's put here the segment drop down all dl select here list and go to the group by sheet and here we have the list of the segment just put has click on ok if i select here let's say mid market then we are getting the data for mid market channel partners enterprise okay so this is dynamic now so that is how we can use the pivot y now i will show you how we can handle the dates i have only date column i don't have here month or year or any other column we have only date now I want to get a summary by year, month and sum of profit. So what I can do, I can use here group by and in the rows, I can use the H stack because I need two columns. First, I'll use the year of date, okay, comma. The second, I can use text and I need the month name. So I can use here date, comma, mmm3 or 4 as you want the format and just close this comma the value i need profit and here i need sum of profit just close this hit the enter so we are getting here year and this is month and this is profit all right if you want to show the subtotal for the year you can use the subtotal also comma comma total depth grand total and subtotal and just hit the enter so we have here the total let's format this we have here this total okay and then we have here this total and in the last we have the grand total all right friends using the conditional formatting you can format this if this value is blank then it should be formatted in this way you can do that also let's remove the grid lines and i will show you how you can use this in pivot y let's say i want to get product wise sales for years then i can use here pivot y function and i need here product 
and then the column field i need the year of date okay comma the value i need sales the sales comma sum of this just close the bracket hit the enter okay just select this range and just format this align this center so here you can see we have year year and this total and we have here product okay and then in the last we have total and here also we have total all right friends so quickly we have created this summary using the pivot y function although we don't have the year directly in our data now i'll show you how we can use the percentage of function let's say i want to show the product wise sum of sales then the percentage contribution of the sales so i can use here group by and let's take here product comma in the values i want two field the first one i want profit the another one i want percentage of profit okay so let's use the h stack and then in the h stack use the profit comma again use the profit because we need the same field comma we need two function the first we need the sum of profit for the second profit we need the percentage of profit so again we use the h stack bracket and put here sum first comma then put here percentage of and just hit the enter so first we are getting here sum this one and here we are getting percentage of convert into the percentage so we are getting here percentage of all right friends so that is how you can use the percentage of similarly you want to use it in pivot y and let's say i want to use here country in the rows comma the column i want to use the year of date comma and i want to use here sales and percentage of and just close the bracket hit the enter so we are getting this percentage of here for the sales and the sum of this is 100% so friends that is how you can use the pivot by and the group by function there can be multiple scenario to using this i hope you have enjoyed this video friends if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching